In this video we will do position estimation of an objects using YOLO V5. Since Jetson Nano computation capability is very limited, 416 by 224 image size is used to perform the inference task. Detected objects are plotted in picture on the right side. As the object is moved, the point representing the object is also moved. Understanding relative position of the objects in respect to your robot may be useful in various tasks. The first step is to clone the YOLO v5 repository. Go to Ultralytic YOLO v5 repository and copy the URL. Move to the YOLO v5 folder. Open the requirements text file. These are the libraries we need to run YOLO v5. In this tutorial, we will install these libraries one by one. Be especially careful not to install OpenCV using pip. Since Jetson Nano has GPU, we will install OpenCV from source with CUDA support to maximize performance. The second step is to install OpenCV. Go to Jetson Hack Nano Build OpenCV page. Copy the URL and git clone it. Now open build open CV shell script. We need to do several modifications so that building process will not stop due to lack of memory. As has been written here, we need to modify the nom jobs parameter since we are using an SD card. First, at line time make j nom jobs, change nom jobs to 1. Secondly, at the line, time sudo make package j nom jobs, change nom jobs to 1. That's all. Save your modifications and close the file. Now, move to the build open CV folder. Execute build open CV shell script. Note that building OpenCV will take several hours, so be patient. From now on we are going to install required libraries. Install Python 3 pip. Upgrade PyYaml library. PyYaml is a full-featured YAML framework for the Python programming language. Next install TQDM. TQDM is a Python library that allows you to output a smart progress bar by wrapping around any iterable. A TQDM progress bar not only shows you how much time has elapsed, but also shows the estimated time remaining for the iterable. Before upgrading NumPy, Cython has to be installed. Cython is an optimizing static compiler for both the Python programming language and the extended Cython programming language. It makes writing C extensions for Python as easy as Python itself. Now upgrade NumPy to version 1.18.5. Before installing Matplotlib, we need to install some packages. The build essentials packages are necessary for compiling software. Python dev is the package that contains the header files for the Python C API. 
Install some packages on which matplotlib depends. Here package versions are specified to make sure that packages with which YOLO v5 works will be installed. Although YOLO may work with other versions too. Now we are ready to install matplotlib. Before installing scipy, some library should be installed. Install gfortran. gfortran is the GNU Fortran compiler, which is part of the GNU compiler collection. Install libopenglass. Openglass is an open source implementation of the basic linear algebra subprograms with many handcrafted optimizations for specific processor types. Install LAPAC. LAPAC is a standard software library for numerical linear algebra. Now we are ready to install SciPy. Before installing the pillow, we need to install libjpeg. libjpeg is a widely used C library for reading and writing JPEG image files. Install the pillow. Install typing extensions. Now we are going to install PyTorch. PyTorch will be installed using pip, but for Jetson Nano we need a pip wheel that was built for ARM Arch 64 architecture. Go to this page and download one of the PyTorch binaries from the list. In this tutorial we will use version 1.10. Just copy the command, change the library name and execute it in the terminal. Now install the wheel file we have previously downloaded. Strangely PyTorch version 1.8 is installed. But 1.8 will work for us too. So, we will leave it as it is. Now we are going to install Torch Vision. Basically, all you need to do is just to copy and paste these commands. Firstly, install required libraries. Clone Torch Vision version 0 0.9. Move to the Torch Vision directory.
in this line build version variable is set to 0 0.9. By executing this command torch vision build will begin. Install Seaborn version 0.11. Seaborn is a Python data visualization library based on matplotlib. We are ready to execute YOLO v5. This is how you run YOLO v5 script. Image path, model and input image size should be specified. We have successfully executed the script. Move to the run detectx folder. As you can see, Inference is performed successfully. Now we are going to install LibRealSense. Go to this page. Clone this repository. Move to install RealSense SDK directory. Before executing build lib RealSense shell script, we need to do some modifications to avoid building process stopping due to memory shortage. Go to the install RealSense SDK folder. Open the build lib RealSense shell script. At line, time make j nom proc. Change nomproc to 1. Execute build lib real sense shell script. After installation, let's check whether the library works properly. Open a terminal and import PyRealSense2 library. Module not found error means that something is wrong with the installation directory. As you can see, the library should be installed here. After a little investigation I found out that the library was actually installed here. So, Python path and bash rc file needs to be modified. Modify this line. Source bash rc file to apply changes immediately. Let's try to import pi real sense one more time. Now we can import it successfully. Install lib camber gtk. This is the module that takes GUI events like pressing a button from gtk plus and plays some configured sound. Let's see what in the code. This code is based on DetectPy script. Here, image size, format and frame rate are defined. Pipeline start means that we start pipeline streaming with configuration we set in the above line. The alignment utility performs per pixel geometric transformation based on the depth data. 
In this line, camera focal distance and optical centers are obtained. Here, wait until a new set of frames becomes available. The frame set includes time synchronized frames of each enabled stream in the pipeline. Here we get aligned frames from RGB and depth camera. Here we crop the image to do inference task. Note that image height and width should be multiple of 32. Here we calculate the center point of the detected image. Here the distance from the camera to detected object center is calculated. In this part, coordinates of the center point are calculated. For the theory, please watch my estimating position of an object with YOLO V3 using RealSense tutorial. In this line, we add object center point coordinates to an array. In this part, object coordinates are converted to coordinate system of the canvas and plotted. When the start button is pushed, thread start function is executed. Inference task by YOLO and object mapping on the canvas are done in the separate threads. To execute this script, open the terminal and execute object mapping pi script. Push start button to start recognition. As you can see, recognized objects are plotted on the map.